Well, it is perhaps the state's sweetest landmark. Tonight, we're learning the Minnesota's largest candy store in Jordan is moving, but it won't be going far, just a stone's throw from its current location. Their iconic Big Yellow Barn sits along Highway 169. Anyone who's been there knows getting in and out can be difficult yes, on a busy traffic day. Well, then you can't get in and out of there without a big pile of candy. You're going to spend a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> However, an upcoming construction project spurred the decision to move Fox 9's Maury Glover is in Jordan for us tonight. Maury, both the store owner and the county say it's a win-win for everyone. That's right. The store is still closed for the season, but some big changes are on the way. Uncharted territory for me uh, with the store. For nearly 50 years, Minnesota's largest candy store has been at the same location off of Highway 169 in Jordan. But soon, the iconic landmark will have a new home. There's just so many moving parts that um, there's a few sleepless nights based on it. Owner Robert Wagner says Scott County is building a new interchange at 169 and Delaware Avenue, which would have closed direct access to the store from the freeway. Wagner says the county planned to build a new frontage road to his property, but it would have been expensive and difficult to maintain and could have brought a drop in business. The road had all kinds of problems, but there was really no choice. It had to be built because we have to have access. So county officials offered to do a land swap with Wagner, giving him a farm field about a thousand feet down the road from his current location on the other side of 169 in exchange for his property. County officials say the deal will allow Wagner to expand his business and connect it to city services like sewer and water, which he is currently unable to do because he's surrounded by wetlands. Well, I think it's a win-win, and I think this is uh, going to be beneficial uh, for both uh, the candy store and um, the community out there. Wagner says the new store will be two and a half times the size of his current one, and yes, it will still be a big, bright yellow barn. And when it's finished, Wagner hopes it'll be the largest candy store in the world, not just in Minnesota. I hope that we can, you know, try to take some of the magic that I, 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 I believe that we've created here and take it over there and make it bigger and better and uh, just to have those little kids come in and, and explode. Now, uh, this current store will stay open while the new one is built, which will probably take about three years. Once it moves, this current building will be demolished and the property will be turned back into wetlands. Reporting live in Jordan, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Wow, that's a huge undertaking, but it has to stay open because it is one of... Every kid in the iconic. city's knows of this place, Yes, right? a place that everybody <laughs> loves. All right, well, Maury, we can't wait to see how this unfolds. Thanks. I'm sorry it wasn't open for you, Maury. I know yeah. you like the candy. <laughs> I may have grabbed a handful or two. I, <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, for, I mean, they have candy from all over the world. Oh, and it's just... Mm -hmm. And they're um, drinks, soft drinks from all over the country. And Whenever we have town ball that goes somewhere yeah. along 169, sometimes you're supposed to turn like 10 miles earlier. I'm like, I'm going to the candy place. I'll see you in a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's... I, and the artwork, that is the other thing. I mean, there's the inventory, but they are constantly adding new artwork. The murals on I mean, the superhero stuff that's on the ceilings. Have you not been there in a while? No, I'm it's, focused on the candy. I'm not looking oh, up. You can't miss it. It is no. incredible. I go right to the British candy section. You can't. Yeah. I'm just like. I don't know what artists they have, but it is amazing. I have pictures on my phone. I'll show you in the break. To the point of Maury's story, too, uh, I'm focused getting out of there because it's tricky. I mean, oh. Yeah, you gotta you gotta know yeah. what you're doing to come out of there. So it's and you're all smooth. buzzed up on sugar too. And it's like, <laughs> you gotta put your foot on the gas though. Ah, I give you some candy. I give you some chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> the Girl Scout cookies that I found in my cupboard today, they were two years expired. They still taste delicious. They we were, tried them. <laughs> you had I one, did. They were fine. I had four. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. I really am. <laughs> Which ones were they? You were going to throw them away. We wouldn't <laughs> well, you. What were they called? Those were the mm. caramel things. Yeah, they had the coconut. The coconut and the chocolate and the caramel and... Are they caramel delights? I think they're called delicious. Yes. I don't know.